Folks, this weekend, the National Policy Institute held its annual conference in the nation's capital. Their movement is broadly referred to as alt-right, but the positions they embrace are white nationalist supremacists, and many say absolutely racist. Unlike past gatherings, this meeting was energized by the election of Donald Trump. Here is some of what took place at the conference this weekend. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! <laughs> No one will honor us for losing gracefully. No one mourns the great crimes committed against us. For us, it is conquer or die. To be white is to be a striver, a crusader, an explorer, and a conqueror. We build, we produce, we go upward. And we recognize the central lie of American race relations. We don't exploit other groups. We we don't gain anything from their presence. They need us and not the other way around. We are not meant to live in shame and weakness and disgrace. We were not meant to beg for moral validation from some of the most despicable creatures to ever populate the planet. We were meant to overcome, overcome all of it, because that is natural and normal for us. America was, until this past generation, a white country designed for ourselves and our posterity. It is our creation. It is our inheritance. And it belongs to us. Uh, here's what President-elect Trump's staff had t tweeted in response to that controversial video. Quote, President-elect Trump has continued to, to denounce racism of any kind, and he was elected because he will be a leader for every American. To think otherwise is a complete misrepresentation of the movement that united Americans from all backgrounds. There were protesters outside of the conference, and the U.S. Holocaust Museum issued a statement that said, in part, quote, Richard Spencer, the leader of the National Policy Institute, made several direct and indirect references to Jews and other minorities often alluding to Nazism, the targeting of Jews was central to Nazi racist ideology. The Germans attempted to kill every Jewish man, woman, and child they could find. Nazi racism extended to other groups. By the end of World War II, the Germans and the collaborators had murdered six million Jews and millions of other innocent civilians, many of whom were targeted for racial reasons. The Holocaust did not begin with killing, it began with words. The museum calls on all American citizens, our religious and civic leaders, and the leadership of all branches of the government to confront racist is thinking and divisive hateful speech. Joining us right now is Richard Spencer, uh, who they were just referring to. So Richard, we had you previously on TV One, uh, have you back. First and foremost, uh, when you said despicable creatures, who were you talking about? Uh, I was talking about the lying media that have actually been lying about me for the last 24 hours. So when you say CNN, lying about you, what does that mean? CNN claimed that I questioned whether Jews were people and things like that. If you, we, uh, we published the text of my speech. I did nothing of the kind. They are doing a wild exaggeration. Uh, they, they, they're worrying about fake news. They're engaging in fake news about me. So wh why... Heil Hitler there. Why Why the Nazi references? I, why? No one said Heil Hitler. No, first of all, when we saw the video there, there were individuals there who were doing that. We've seen photos uh, as well of individuals at that particular conference uh, who were using the Nazi salute. Do, but there's a lot of exuberance in, in events like this. There's also a lot of irony. Uh, the fact is... Of the Nazi salute? Yeah, in, in the sense when it when it's done in the context of the alt right, it's done in a spirit of fun Why? and exuberance. But, but 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 this is America. Because whenever you whenever anyone sticks up for European identity, whenever they say I want to stick up for us for our people, they're always called a collection of names: Nazi, KKK, Southern Confederate, etc. I think a lot of people just want to throw it back in those in their enemies' faces. But but but, totally but that's but, but so it's totally natural for Americans to use a Nazi salute when, 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 one second, when Americans, when America fought against the Nazis, fought against uh, what they were all about, why would you, so why would you salute, why would you appreciate that? Why, why would you not say, no, this is America. You don't do that in America. Uh, again, it's a moment of exuberance. No, 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 no. You use exuberance. I don't need, look, I can't police everyone no, I, I, no, I, no, I, at a no, conference. No, 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 no. What you can say, here's the question. Are you an American? 
Yes, I'm an American. Are you proud to be an American? Yes, I'm a proud citizen. Do you believe that America should have beaten Nazi Germany in World War II? I wish that we had avoided that conflict. No, no, no you answered my think, question. You answered my question. Should I, America I have beaten World You said uh, we, we should avoid it. Should America have beaten back Nazi Germany and Adolf Hitler in World War II. One, once the United States was in the war, yes, absolutely, okay. we have to win it. So if we want it and we beat back Nazi Germany, why would you even say, well, in exuberance people do that? Why would you not say, as an American, that is not what we do in America? It, it, what you're saying is just logically incoherent. I mean, it, you know, we're talking about a second world war, and therefore you can't do something and, and fun and jest. So, I mean, so, 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 you, also, so, so you believe five so, people so, or something? No, no, no. Actually, this uh, hold on one second. Five people. Them. Shelley, play the video again. Play the video. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! <laughs> That's not five people. That's more. That's far more than five people. And and but I'm trying to understand why would you excuse that as as if that's no big deal? Oh, it's just it's just sort of in fun. That I mean that's that that's offensive I, to Americans. That's offensive to American soldiers. That's offensive to World War II veterans who actually fought in that war. H how do you say? Oh, that's exuberance. Because that's what it was, and it's nothing more than that. This is what I would say: is that are there any World War II veterans in your family? Yes, actually, okay. both of my grandfathers. And both of your grandfathers. Yes. Would your grandfather say, oh, that's exuberance? Yes. Really? Yeah. Right. So, just, so your grandfather wouldn't say, I fought against that. I, I fought where that's not done in America. No. So, I, don't, I don't think so, both, most people are like this. It's actually just the liberal media that's in no, it. No, no, actually. Collective freakout. No, over actually, this. no, it's not a question of collective freakout. If somebody wants to yeah. call themselves an American, they would then say, no, that's not American. So, uh, so but also, I want to ask you this but I'll, here. I'll actually agree. I'll, give you, I'll, I'll find some common ground here. Uh, I do think that the alt-right, we've gone from being a movement that was not connected to the political mainstream, not, collect, not connected to the political fray. We now are. People are paying attention to us. People are looking at us. And so I actually, I actually say yes. Uh, we need to start uh, uh, maybe not some of that stuff off. We need we may, need to may, think maybe, of ourselves. We need maybe? to think of our, we need to think of ourselves as a mainstream movement that's going to reach people because we do have that power. Okay, so here's the call. Are you white nationalists? Uh, I don't use the term white nationalist. I use the I like the term all right first off, and I also like the term identitarian because it gets at what I am and what I believe. And what is that? Identity is at the heart of my ideology. So what's that identity? Add, yeah, I, race is a foundation of that identity, undoubtedly. Now, you, now you know, ra I mean, race is simply a creation of mankind. That's a construct; it doesn't exist. I mean, my who line is I, no. I know who I am. First of all, I'm Roland Martin. I'm a man. Okay. I'm a man. Do you first. identify as a black man? No. First of all, I identify as a man. Okay. I identify as a man. I, I, I did, no, actually, it's not sexist because if a person is a woman, identifies as a woman. Okay. So I'm a man. I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. Are you a Christian? Uh, I'm a cultural Christian, yeah. What the hell is that? Well, you know, I, many of us struggle with faith, but, uh, but no, I, no, I'm no, part on, of a Christian. Hold on, hold on. You, can't call yourself, oh, uh, you can't call yourself a cultural Christian and then say, I struggle with faith. Uh, the, uh, you profess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Uh, uh, no, I, I, well, I have in my life. I, I don't. I mean, look, let's, is this an no, imposition no, no. on me? No, 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 I mean, no, actually, no, it's an interview. But, but see, when somebody tells me they are Christian, and I, I again, I I'm have, culturally Christian. W what is culturally Christian? I, I grew up in a Christian background. I resonate with Christianity and so on. Okay, I'm going to ask again. Have you professed with your mouth that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? I, I have in my life, yes. Okay, so that means that you're a Christian. So how is it that with what you espouse, how do you find that to be uh, compatible with Christian ideals? Most Christians throughout world history agreed with me that identity matters and that race is real and that they're part of an extended family. Well, it's it, it, only this, well, mi this tiny slice of world history, like post-1965, that everyone thinks that Christianity is incompatible with identity. Well, I, I do actually, not well, believe Actually, that. if you, you use world history, there were people who actually used Christianity to justify slavery and the enslavement yeah. of people who look like me. Uh, and so, so if, why if, are if, you if, a Christian? Uh, why, am I, why am I a Christian? Uh, because those people actually were false Christians. Those people mm. were fake Christians. Those people probably were cultural Christians, where they somehow uh, allowed culture to inform their faith as opposed to their faith informing their culture. But, mm. but, I, but, but I ask you this. I go back to the question I asked you. For most of that, Christian history, there was feudalism, there was serfdom, there was slavery, there was right, identity, right. there was nationalism. And, and those 
those all of these people uh, unchristian, but you no, are no, 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 no. Those are people who actually uh, who chose to pimp the Bible as opposed to actually believe in exactly what so Jesus Christ all talked of, about. Most all of Christians throughout world history were pimps. No, no, but no, no. You no, are no, a no, true Christian. No, no. What, what I'm saying is here, as a Christian, I believe in the Word mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to uh, this false nonsense uh, that most of those folks were. But yeah, but they they were also fake Christians because they used the Word to actually enslave people. I'm but, so glad but, we but, reached but, true Christianity well, no, no, well, well, first in of all, 2016. Well, first of all, first of all, you barely identify as one, so you say you cultural, you dance around it, I, and I'm being, I'm it's, being honest. It's around it. No, I got you. A value? I got you. Yeah. But, well, I'm it, not going to lie to you. No, no, that's fine. But I still got to go back to this here. So, you, so are you a white supremacist? No, I'm not a white supremacist. Absolutely, the white supremacy means that a white person wouldn't want to rule of, over other people. So you don't want to rule over other people. I absolutely do not. Well, uh, what we've had white supremacy in our past, whether you think of uh, imperialism, slavery, colonialism, that's been a disaster. So no, I don't want to go back to that. So what are you trying to go? So what are you saying? Because you, in your video you said uh, we don't need them; they need us. Who's they? Yes. Who's they? Uh, the white people ultimately don't need other races in order to succeed, in order to be ourselves. Absolutely not. So how do you think America became the greatest economic uh, nation without? Not uh, through black people. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't because of free labor. Uh, are you talking about slavery? No, I'm talking about slavery and also what happened after slavery, uh, which Douglas Blackman talked about, uh, a slavery by another name. So I'm trying to understand, when you say didn't need it, how, how do you think America became the, econ the greatest economy that it did? How, how do you think that happened? Through the genius of Europeans. Uh, how was the genius of Europeans when the fact of the matter is it was actually King Cotton that supplied the economic means for America to do so? And that, that was a result, a result of free labor from black people. Look, the, the whole point here is that who creates these systems? Who creates these business models and businesses? Slavery and was a business model? Well, yes, it was a business model, and, yeah. And, and was that one that you like or dislike? I dislike. You dislike yeah, I would. A I absolutely reject it. Okay, yeah. so but you deny the reality, though, no, uh, that, what that that's, what that create, that's what allowed America to become uh, the economic power because America supplied 91% of the world's cotton. And so as a result of that, that's how America was able to fund the Industrial Revolution. It was because of free labor from black people. The Industrial Revolution originated in Britain and it originated in, in way the countryside of no, Britain no, no, where no. there were I absolutely said, no slaves. I said the money generated from right. that. But I asked you again, I asked you again, okay? You said we don't need anybody else. No. But, but the reality is America history proves you wrong. The fact of the matter is there is no great America. You don't, you don't, you can't see here and talk about that greatness without other people making that happen. We could have figured out another way to pick cotton. Who? I mean, the, white people could have figured out another way to get cotton. Y'all tried that, didn't work. Yeah, I, I mean, which what, We do it now. We've what, done what, it previously. What, what, I don't know what books you read, uh, but uh, no, that's actually not what happened. But you said y'all would have figured it out, but you didn't. Look, African slavery was an absolute disaster, socially and morally. I reject it, okay? In terms of the 20th century, when America rose as a geopolitical power, when, the, when we had the greatest economy in the world and so on, that has nothing to do with slavery, so you say, absolutely. So, so you say we don't, we don't need anybody else, okay? But the fact of the matter is, people of color not going anywhere. So, so, so what is your vision for America? That uh, is, is white land and the rest of us can leave? I think that white people, Europeans, f formed the core of American identity. So why don't you go back to Europe? Europe. You keep saying I European. Just said, I just said, you a European is, you, being a European isn't just a plot of land. Being a European is about blood and spirit. These people formed the core of American identity. What it means to be American it is ultimately what it means to be a white person here. How so? Because, we, because how so? Because we Dr. Are Dr. essential. Because the reality is this here. Dr. King talked about. And it was, I would have maintained that. that. It, it, black, it, Dr. King talked about it was black people who actually made America live up to the ideals that they wrote on the sheet of paper. That there were white, that there were white Americans uh, who talked about, oh, uh, we want uh, the nation to be this. When the reality is. Uh, that's not what they were living up to. It was, it, was Af it was black folks who made that a reality when it came to the Constitution. When you say all men are created equal, uh, we had a nation where it wasn't all men are created equal. Uh I myself am critical of the Founding Fathers, however, clearly they but, did not believe in multiracial equality. Clearly, if you look at the and, first... And, and, you, and you agree with that? 
I yes, I agree with that. So, I do so, not believe so, that everyone's so, equal. So you don't believe in multiracial equality? No, I mean, so, I don't think anyone does actually. I mean, do do you really think that all people are equal in talents and identity? That's, that's and that, no, no, that, 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 that's not what that means. The same. No, 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 no. When you say all people are created equal, that means that the moment you are born, uh, we're going to treat you in the same way as we treat everybody else. Now, what you do with your life, what you do with your talents, is different. Uh, there are many areas. I'm quite sure I'm far more talented than you. Yes. It doesn't mean that you don't have talent, but what it means is that when you are born, we're going to be treated as equals, equal American, equal American. So in your worldview, are you saying white folks should be treated as a greater American than if you're black or Latino or Asian or Native American? At this point, I want white people to have the same rights that all other people do. The like, fact what, is, what all institutions white folks don't have all institutions. In, in terms of legal rights, yes, everyone has the same thing. In terms of what institutions are actually doing, absolutely no. White people do not have the rights of minorities. How so? In what? I'll, I'll, In what? I'll go into it. In terms of federal hiring. Absolutely. Federal hiring is geared towards not hiring more white men. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, Every, stop. Hold on. Say it again. Federal hiring. Let me ask you a question. How many white men in the United States Senate? Uh, that's not federal hiring. No, 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 ask, I ask my question. How many white men in the United States Senate? I don't know the exact number. It's More than 80%. Majority. Sure. Okay. How many white staffers? See, you said hiring. That's hiring, correct? Right. How many white staffers in Congress? Uh, a lot. I a lot. Know. Define a lot. I, I don't, I don't know. These it's it's in, in, in excess of 80%. Okay. So, Please show if me how. Look at, no, no, no. It's look federal at hiring. It's federal hiring. So, are, so are you Let's say? Are you, no, 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 no. Hold up. That, but no, no. That's federal hiring. So I'm trying to understand something here. You said like all of a sudden, oh my God, it's, it's so rough for us. Do you, do you so think are you, that are, affirmative action is not at play in federal hiring? I, I, actually, actually, hold up. Every actually, wait department a minute. on down. Actually, I mean, give me a break. Actually, do you do you know what the greatest affirmative action policy was in this country? Slavery? No, no, that, no, that wasn't affirmative action. Okay. That was free labor. The great affirmative action policy in America was the GI Bill. And do you know who benefited from the GI Bill? White people. Your grandfathers. Yes. Do you know who did not benefit from the GI Bill? The same black folks who fought alongside in World War II who also bled for this country and when they came back. So when you talk about affirmative action, <clears throat> that is the greatest affirmative action bill in the history of America. Do you know who has benefited greater from affirmative action policies? First of all, who, who created affirmative action? Uh, white people, probably. Okay, Richard Nixon, President Richard Nixon, right. 1969, Arthur Fletcher was there as well. Who is the greatest beneficiary of affirmative action? The greatest beneficiary? Yeah, affirmative I would say action. African Americans. You know, that's a lie. Okay. Is your, do you have a girlfriend or wife? Uh, yes. Is she white? Yes. She's the greatest beneficiary of affirmative action. White women have benefited more from affirmative action than anybody else in America. You're getting that's very a fact. sexist here, Martin. No, 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 it's not sexist. Poland that's people. a fact. So the fact is, so when you say affirmative action, white folks. That no, 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 might no. be the case. No, no, it's, it's not might. White women have benefited from affirmative action more than any other group. I'll go so, with so, you so, that. No, no, no. So when you're saying, oh, my goodness, affirmative action, why should not be getting hired in the federal government? That's a lie. Oh, that's fine. Look, this is what I'm saying. In terms, let's look at Silicon Valley. Every spring, these big companies, Apple, Google, Facebook, will release diversity reports. And they will basically say, we are we are focused well, on hold, not hiring white men. Really? Yes. Hold on one look second. Look at all the diversity. Hold, 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 I'll stay right there. Hold on one second. I'm going to go to a break. See, here's the problem, Richard. This is the problem when you're a smart black man who can read. Mm -hmm. Have you seen their diversity numbers? Uh, yes, whites really? are underrepresented okay, in this corporation. All right, when we come back, uh, we're going to do a fact check for Richard uh, here when it comes to uh, Silicon Valley. Because, see, as y'all know, here on TV One, Reverend Jesse Jackson Sr. has been talking about Silicon Valley. I've been right there covering this for the last 24 months. Uh, we're going to give him the facts when we come back uh, right here, News One Nine TV One. All right, folks, back with our guest, Richard Spencer, president of the National Policy Institute, says he identifies with the alt-right. Many of us say he's a white nationalist. Richard, we talked about Silicon Valley. According to this report right here from the uh, federal government, top 25, top 75 Silicon Valley tech firms. Whites, 47% of the workforce. Asian Americans, 41%. Hispanics, 6%. African Americans, 3%. Now, what you women Thank make you up? What, my no, no, no. So, what, so what you're saying is we don't have enough white people in Silicon Valley? No, what I'm saying is white people. Those numbers that you just read reveal that white people are underrepresented as a percentage in of, Silicon in the Valley in the population in Silicon Valley. So, which is exactly so, what I so said. are white are white people underrepresented when it comes to Fortune 500 CEOs? 
Uh, no, not in terms of CEO. Okay, are white people unrepresented when it comes to a, bo a board of directors members of Fortune 500 CEOs? Uh, probably not. Of white people are underrepresented when it comes yeah. to corporate offices of Fortune 500 CEOs. This is called so, moving so, no, no, the no, goalposts. No, 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 it's not. No, no, I'm, I'm no. Here's the deal. <laughs> what you're saying is this here. Okay, in this sector, oh my God, we only have 47 percent of white people. We need. So what do you want? You want 70, 80, 90? No, what I'm saying is that these corporations, by their own explicit admission, are trying to hire less white people and less How? white men. Uh, so you're they saying, released so, so, reports. So are you saying they're not hiring uh, people who are the smartest? Uh, no, I don't think they're hiring people so, so, merely so, because they're so, the smartest. So, so you're upset that you're upset. And, you know, no, no, no. I'm trying to understand. You're upset that 47 percent of white people work in Silicon Valley, but you have no problem with 90 percent of the Fortune 500 CEOs being white. I see what you're saying. No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking yes or no. Are, are you? Do you like? The, do you? Do you like and accept that 90 percent, 80 plus percent of Fortune 500 CEOs are white men? Look. Are you cool with that? Uh, yeah. Do you prefer that? Sure. Do you so you so what what you're saying is what you want is you want whites being majority in control of every sector in America. What I want, look, I'm I, I'm not an economic thinker in terms of politics. What I want are politicians similar to Donald Trump who really want to protect the people here, who don't think just in terms so of say the global people, who's the population. People, who's the people? Who are the people? Right. This is whites are still a majority in this no, no, country. No, 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 no. But, but, you, secondly, but you said the people. So he's black, she's black, he's white, he's white, I'm black, Latino. Are we in the people? Yes, clearly you are citizens of this country. Okay, so 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 if we're in the people, then why can't we also have jobs? I don't. I I care about the country itself, but I really care about European Americans. Okay, but in but, all but, of these institutions, but, but, these institutions are dedicated to discriminating how? against people like how, me. How, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. By their own how, admission, how, how, how. they are. If if whites if whites are dominating jobs in banking, if whites are dominating jobs on Wall Street, if whites are dominating hedge funds, if whites are dominating NFL owners and NBA owners, if whites are dominating the major sectors, how in the world can you somehow say, oh my God, it's rough for us white people out here? It's not. How, if you're saying that, how are whites dominating the number of jobs on Capitol Hill? How are whites dominating the number of jobs in the White House? How are whites dominating jobs all across America? And you're saying it's not enough white people, so stop hiring those minorities. They don't need jobs. We got to make sure us white people keep getting jobs. Is that what you're saying? It doesn't surprise me at all that whites succeed. Uh, we have succeeded throughout the centuries. We are a people of great genius and ambition. So none of that surprises me. In terms of looking at all of these CEOs, a lot of these are older people. They're from a generation with, with, with a very, they come from a generation with a very different population. What I'm more worried about right now are younger people. These institutions are actively, explicitly trying to discriminate against them in terms of hiring. How? It's unfair. How? I don't like it. But even worse, this How? is not we it's this is moving towards a country that is not gonna be the country that we want. Well it's no 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 you say we say the country that we want. I'm still trying to understand because you, you still haven't answered my question. Because but, Europeans build societies that everyone wants to come to, to be honest. Okay. Where are but, the Syrian refugees uh, on, you said when they're built invading? It. Where are they going? Who, 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 they're who, going to Central Europe, they're going to built. Western Europe. You said built. Yes. Who who, who built the railroads in America allow for us to have expansion out west. Who built that? Yes, I'm a lot of Chinese people. No, no, like, you, no you said you. No, the operative word there was built. Built. Yeah. Who built? Okay. Who the, designed them? No, Who no, had the genius wait, to wait, wait, imagine wait, wait, Europeans? Wait, 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 the genius to imagine railroads. Okay. Yeah. I, I, no, no, but see, but you said. Are built. there railroads no, no, in no, Africa? You, you said yes. You said built. Why? You because said you of said. Us. Hold on. You said for, okay. First of all, that is uh, absolutely for, for, true. First, of all, you know first of all, the greatest genius when it came to the building of the pyramids. Which you, what, do you know what? Those they are white people, by the way. Who white people? The Egyptians are not African. I'm sorry. Do you know where Egypt is? Yes, it's in Where? North Africa. Which... Okay, stop, stop. You stop, stop right there. You just said th that you said the Egyptians are not are, African. Are white South Africans? No, not, African? wait, wait. Yes, they, they are African. See, okay. okay, to be African means you come from the continent of Africa. So if you come from the continent of Africa, that's who you are. I'm... So that means you're an African. So, and you, and you, you do know, Don, do you also deny science that man originated? 
from Africa, or do you say that's that's false science? Uh, what are you talking about? I mean, what, uh, what are you referring I'm, to? I'm science? talking archaeology. I'm talking biology. I'm talking science in terms of the the where did man originate? Where scientists? Why scientists? Egypt was an amazing no, no, civilization. No, 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 it was it, not created no. by black Africans. I'm who, sorry. Who, it wasn't. Who, who created it? People who are white. How, okay. How, how are people? You can look no, at. No, no, you how, can how, actually look at I, art, I, and they differentiate yeah, yeah. between races. No, no, I gotta ask you a question. How do you from do, ancient do, Egypt do, and do, art? Do, you do know those were black people. You do know. Hey, you, weren't you, sorry. You do know from science, you can't get black from white, you can get white from black. You do know when it comes to evolution, what? when it comes... Oh, I see what you're saying. Dude, you, you never studied science? I, I see what you're... Yes, I have. No, so, but... but, but I, I mean, I'm but, not a but, scientist, but are man, you? But man originated in Africa. D yes or no? Th that is a consensus, yes. Okay, that, so, if man, out of Africa so if man originated in Africa, mm -hmm. which means that they were Africans, then all of a sudden, when you talk about uh, the uh, amazing works of the Egyptians, they were people of color. I know that's a little rough for you to handle, but I know you want to hold on to that somehow thinking whites built the pyramids, but I'm trying to understand. Yeah, we did. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, because first of all, they were building things in Egypt while white Europeans were still in caves. Uh, that's a fact. That's, that is a, the, that's I, a fact. Okay, sure. I'm, but I'm still, I'm still go back to. So what you, so you, you, you insist that somehow uh, that uh, whites are not getting jobs in America and in, 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 in this rough. Are you afraid of competition? I, I, I am not afraid of competition. Competition can be good. That being said, are you what's afraid great? To compete? Are you, are you I think afraid actually, to compete? hold on, hold on. Are you afraid of some other television station beating you? No. I mean. You're not. Okay. You know why? Well, no, you know why? Because you're confident. That's no, 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 no. No, so, not just, no, no, not just confident. Because, see, I have skill set. I understand what I do. See, but what you're telling right, me is this. It sounds see, like confidence. No, 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 no. What, what you're telling me is this here. You, Richard, here's what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like. And I'm not a psychologist. Can I finish my point? But you're afraid. You, you are afraid that you now are going to have to compete. What you, you've, had, you've had such a head start. You've had an 80-yard head start in a 100-meter dash, and now you're upset that people are catching up. Sure. Why are you so afraid? Sure, everyone likes to win. But to be honest, in terms of Donald, what, what's great about Donald Trump is that he hasn't been saying, oh, th this is great global competition for all Americans, let's do it. No, he's actually said, I care about my people first. I Who's care my about. People? Uh, I, he, he's referring to all Americans. When he says, my people first, America first, what he's saying is that he is going to help the people of this country first. But you don't he's want that. He's not going to throw them out to the wind. But you don't want that. You don't, you don't I, want... I just, you, yes, I do. I no, just so, said so, like so, so you don't mind blacks and Hispanics and Asians, Native Americans getting jobs, doing well. You don't mind that? Of course I don't mind that. Okay, but, but, but you're so concerned that, 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 oh my God, why should I getting hired when that's not true? It's it, clearly whites are getting hired. My claim is that effectively every major institution in this country, from governmental institutions to uh, uh, corporations, are discriminating against how? whites and white when you, men. When you're majority white, they explicitly you're, they, they literally, talk about how? it. If okay, if you so, believe so, so, if you uh, believe so, race doesn't uh, matter and that we're all equal and so on, then the Apple Corporation be, should be 65 percent white. In terms, it's you show, not. Hold up, hold up. You say it should be 65% white, but if Apple is saying it's, that we're... It that we're that if, if, if are Apple, tremendously over if, if App, Because maybe if Asians are going and studying in those sectors, that's why. Right, but... The, but Sure, but like, I mean, you're just but, begging the question. No, no, right? I'm not. No, I'm not, no, I'm not begging the question. What I'm saying is this here: uh, Why are more white? Why are they? No, 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 why no, are they no, going I into sciences you, and not? Oh, I mean, like, why are why, Asians succeeding I, 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 in science? I want the Texas whereas a, Africans aren't. I, I want the Texas A&M. Why are more whites in agriculture? Uh, we have a natural, you know, tendency to do that. I don't no, know. No, you don't. First of all, black people actually out, out there sitting Please picking cotton. black people created agriculture. No, but we damn sure did the work. But here's my whole point okay. here. Here's my whole point, which I'm trying to get you to understand. Okay. If you have more whites who are going into agriculture, again, I'm a Texas a and University graduate. I grew up in Texas. Okay, where? Uh, in Dallas. Okay, that, which part of Dallas? Uh, the white part. Which well, which, which part? There's a lot of white parts in Dallas. Uh, just uh, Preston Hollow. Or... Yeah, yeah. I, I see exactly why, where your thought process comes from. Mm. Uh, well, that's, that's, why, that's why you have the white country clubs there as well, because they don't want other people in there. Mm. But again, are there black uh, churches? What I'm getting, black uh, country clubs? Are the black churches? Uh, black no, they have black country clubs where you have black people who play. Uh, but also, so aren't there black institutions that are like just what? for you? No, it's not just for us. Because the fact of the matter black is, churches those are just for you guys. No, actually, no, no. That's no, great. Actually, but actually, no, it's not. Because 
because there are black churches where you can come if you want to, doesn't matter. And just like, just like you have a white church, churches. you can come. That's my point, but that's what it is. So you're factually incorrect. Here's my whole point. When I talk about agriculture, all, all there I'm are saying. more whites who are going into agriculture. Why? Because that's the area they're going into. So if Asians are going into a particular area, that's where they're going. You're, you're begging the question. All I'm saying is, why are Asians succeeding at these technical fields? Because why they're working is it? in it. it. Because they're, again, you're just begging questions. Like, at some no, point... Why, why are whites succeeding I'll, I'll, in agriculture? Can you let me finish? I'll, I'll ultimately get to this. The, it's, it's about human nature, and it's about their unique gifts. Asians are... Asians unique, have a, unique gifts? Yes. East Asians have a higher, on average, IQ than Europeans. It's remarkable. It doesn't surprise me that they succeed at math. Uh, this is even science. Oh, that's a terrible stereotype. No, no, How no, no, no. I'm not using stereotypes. It's, it is what it is. All of a sudden it's here, Richard. The fact of the matter is here. This is, this is actually why I, I would uh, I would want to restrict immigration of East Asians. It's not because I think I'm, I'm afraid of them. I actually respect them. This, I respect their civilization. It's about protecting my people. It, that's it, what but, it's but, about. But here's the people. When you keep saying my people, then you say all Americans when well, you're not talking about it. Here's, here's, here's the reality, Richard. The reality is here. You have to navigate the, between the, people you I care you. about and all I got you. Here's the deal, Richard. We're not going anywhere. And see, Richard, it's, gonna be, it's about to be a little tough for you. It's about to be a little, a little tough for you, Richard, because, see, you and your people have had a great head start. Tremendous head start. 20 odd Africans arriving in 1619. Who and gave us this one, head one, start? One, one second. 16, 16, 16 well, you, you, but see, that's what I'm saying. When you have a head start, it means you're scared to compete. See, I know some other whites out there who are not white nationalists, who are not afraid of competition, who are not afraid of this. But here's the reality we're not going anywhere. Right. And you might want to suck that up. And I know it's rough. I know it's rough. But I suggest what you should do, what we're doing, Richard, is preparing your generation for a world of competition where you have to actually, where you don't get the head start your mom and daddy gave you, uh -huh. that you're going to start uh, maybe not 80 yards ahead, but 30. But you know what? You may want to train harder because we're training harder and we're going to catch up. We're going to win. And also, you're not gonna win, Mr. Richard. Martin, I want to tell you, you've got to prepare yourself. You've dealt with a bunch of guilt-ridden, silly whites no. all your life. And no. we are waking up. We are recognizing who we are. And we see an amazing future. Now, Richard, so you better get Richard, ready. I'm telling you right now, Richard, here's the deal. 1619, 20-odd Africans arrived, Fort Comfort, Virginia, mm -hmm. okay, 1619, 397 years ago. Mm -hmm. Trust me, we're resilient, we're not going anywhere, I, and I'm going to tell you yes. right here, and, and as, as my frat brother, Vertner Woodson Tandy said, 1937, we will fight until hell freezes over, and then we will fight on the ice. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. Thanks a bunch.